It's Windy City Live, Wednesday, August 7th. Today, Chicago Bull Center, Nazi Mohammed is here. Plus, real estate expert Dennis Rodkin clues us in on some great housing deals around Chicago. And local piano prodigy Emily Bear performs live on our stage. It's all right now on Windy City Live. Nazi Mohammed, we're going to talk to him, talk to him about Derrick Rose, too, uh -huh. coming up. And speaking so. of deals, too, real quick before I forget. All right, well, time for our first guest. He's a 16-year NBA veteran. He's won championships at both the college and pro level from your Chicago Bulls. Hometown native, Nazi Mohammed. <laughs> Yes, yes, six ten. Wow. Six ten, nine brothers and sisters, raised in Chicago. Uh, are any of your siblings athletic? Oh, uh, I have a little brother who plays overseas. I guess he's not little. He's thirty, so. <laughs> <laughs> and how tall is he? He's only about uh, six four. Oh, uh, he's only six four. <laughs> he's the shrimp in the family. And, and your father was actually a cab driver in Chicago. Yes, he drove a cab here in Chicago, and then he uh, owned a couple of cabs, and he passed now. But uh, yeah, cab driver. Wow. And I mean, it's incredible to, to hear about where you came from, where your family came from, mm -hmm. and, and where you are now, 16 years in the NBA. What's the key to longevity? Uh, luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you have, you have a workout routine. You are really yeah. serious about working out in the summer and being prepared for every season, right? Yes, So, I so am. far this summer, what's it been like for you? It's been uh, the usual. Uh, like you said, I, I do a lot of different things. I box, a little MMA. Oh, uh, oh MMA. Yeah, he probably knows how to tennis. do a squat. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're just doing this MMA thing now. And it seems to me like, would the teams be upset about guys doing actual physical combat with each other? I, I only do it with my instructor, so I try try not to. I don't want anyone hurting me. Right. <laughs> you know, but uh, I just do things just to stay in shape. Uh, you know, lifting weights, basketball, everything. So. Do you do, you do squats? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the squat. That's got to be even harder because you're so tall. Yes, it is. It's very. Uh, I've done a lot this year, and I'm getting better at it as far as getting lower. Yeah. <laughs> well, well you got to be physical to throw LeBron around the way that you did in the playoffs. Uh-oh. Everybody remembers that. Yeah. Uh, for anybody that didn't know who you were, Nationally, this became a huge thing. Uh, what, what transpired in this? Because I just remember you throwing LeBron to the court and then you got ejected. Uh, situation, just trying to stop the fast break and, uh, you know, wrapped him up and he kind of gave me a little extra and threw me, kind of pushed me down. So instincts kind of pushed, stepped that in. That south side kicked in, <laughs> didn't it? That south side was like, well, hold up, bro. You're not getting ready to push me on my court, didn't it? Yeah. Come on, I'm, I'm just going to help yeah. you. I know you're trying yeah. to be a professional, yeah. but that's what happened. That south side, King James came up in here. He said, yeah. not in my house. Right. <laughs> a little bit of that, a little bit of that. But sometimes that's the way to fire up a team, isn't it? Uh, you know, it is, but I definitely don't want to pre have something like that premeditated, but uh, it does get mm -hmm. your guys fired up, and uh, the guys, they played a good game, but, uh, you know, I was disappointed. I couldn't help them, help us get the win. And we're, oh, we're, like I'm on the team. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I am 6'2". Uh, uh, we were starting against Miami here. I mean, you're opening uh, against Miami. So last game last season, first game this season, how exciting is this? And do you think Miami is actually beatable this year? I do think they're beatable. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, it's not exciting because we have to sit there and watch them get their rings. So uh, I'm not too happy about that. Oh, but, uh, they get it on the first yeah. game. Yeah. But, uh, uh. You know, they're the champs. You know, they earned it. Uh, you know, now we're going to try to stop them from getting the third one. And, uh, but you're going to have D. Rose back, right? Yes, we are. Yeah. yeah. That's going to make a big difference. For sure. I know you have a championship ring, too, not from the Bulls. But uh, but where do you keep this championship ring? From the uh, Spurs, right? I keep it in the safe uh, from the Spurs. We won it in 05. So, uh, yeah, this, uh, I cherish it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually have a little quiz for you. you. You've played 16 years in the league. You've played for eight different teams in chronological order. Can you name them? 
Oh, that's easy. Uh, yeah. Philadelphia 76ers, yep. uh, Atlanta Hawks, yep. New York Knicks, yep. San Antonio Spurs, yep. uh, uh -oh, Detroit yeah. Pistons, okay. yep. uh, Charlotte Bobcats, yep. Oklahoma City, yep. Chicago Bulls. You got it. But it's different. I mean, after playing in all those teams, it's nothing like playing at home in oh, your home court, right? Oh, nothing like it. I mean, the only thing I can compare is, of course, winning a championship, but uh, nothing like being home, being home, seeing the skyline, driving into the city. It just gets me excited every time. All right. Oh, and now you have your... Second annual fundraiser this weekend, and uh, what made you want to start the foundation? Uh, you know, when, when, when you have kids, you, you, you start to believe that, you know, you have to leave a better imprint as far as <laughs> leaving this earth. And uh, I just wanted to do something that uh, can give back to the kids, something that uh, can make me feel better, because giving makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we have our foundation uh, fundraiser this Friday uh, at Pazos, and you can buy tickets at uh, nazimohammed.com, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be food, open bar, music, uh, Your special Your celebrity friends will be there. Oh, yeah. Because I saw I'm, all those celebrities and girls there. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Is it, is, it ever, is it ever tough to get all of the autographed items? Do you have to, you, you have to call up guys like LeBron later and ask him to sign, <laughs> to sign a ball or something? I've been really fortunate. Uh, and actually, that's the part of it that I really have to do myself. I have to call up everybody. I call up a lot of equipment managers who I've, uh, you know, was on their team. And I call up friends. And uh, I've gotten everything I've asked for. Wow. All right. Great. Well, you've been very blessed in your life. Thank you so much, Nazi, yeah, for coming to see good us. Good luck next season. Oh, Come back. Bring the whole team by one. <laughs> <laughs> One day. All right, Nazi Mohammed. Tennis Rodkin is next.